They have a lot of dignity. A dignity. This nigga sounds like a mush mouth, mush mouth nigga that don't know how the fuck to articulate. Doesn't know how the fuck to articulate his, his sentences. I mean, look at this nigga like he seriously has an avatar of a motherfucking lion, okay? Like, when you have an avatar of a fucking lion and we can't see your face, that kind of speaks to some insecurity about you, man. Like, you're not a lion, bro. You would be more like a, a rat, okay? You're not a lion. You're not a lion, bro. You're a rat. You should have a rat as an avatar, bro. You a fucking bitch. You a simp, nigga. You a simp for the fucking panel, bitch. You a simp, bro. Because look. Look, man. These niggas. None of these niggas would come see me, man. Like, I'm just saying, like. These niggas think they're doing something talking on the internet. Trying to simp for these bitches, man. But, like, number one. The women that you're simping for on the panel are not going to sleep with you, bro. Okay? They're not going to sleep with you. They're probably in a different state. Possibly in a different country. Probably a 10-hour drive away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's kind of interesting how niggas are going to simp for pussy that they're never going to get. It's like, it's just, it's just, it's stupid. Let's play the clip, guys. You know, on them, as well as a lot of knowledge, you know, and uh, experience. Mush mouth nigga talking shit, whatever. He doesn't know what he's talking about, man. Let's skip this nigga. Let's get to this bitch that I want to talk about. Real life, right? This bitch is a fucking fraud, man. She's a fucking fraud, man. Obviously, this young man's ears are very hardened, okay? So when he's hearing stuff told to him, if we really want to have a teachable moment, if that's the, the term du jour, then we'll speak from both perspectives. It's not only... Okay, bitch, look. You can't tell me shit, okay? Look. Number one, you're probably a single mother. Okay, you're definitely not married, you know what I'm saying? That's probably why she was triggered by the 77%, the 73% statistic. She was like, oh, that's a half statistic. Oh, that's a half statistic. That's a half truth. You're not talking about the whole picture. You're only just giving little tidbits and little breadcrumbs and you're not really speaking about how you, how you feel. Okay, bitch, look, I'm speaking about how I feel now in this fucking video. So comment down below. If you want to come on the live stream, on a live stream, on my channel, and you want to debate me, on whatever it is that you feel like you had a problem with that I said on the panel because I guarantee you guys she will not accept the challenge because she needs a bunch of dudes, a bunch of simps, and a bunch of hood rats on the panel to back her up and to back her talking points up. Because look, if she's facing me one on one on a neutral platform, she won't she, she won't even she will crumble, okay? She will I will decimate that bitch. I will I will cut her fucking head off and eat it. Put it on a fucking steak and fucking burn that shit to ashes, okay? I will decimate that bitch. I will eat her alive, bro. Cannibalism. You're talking about cannibalism? I'ma eat that bitch. Okay, I'ma eat that bitch. I'ma kill that <laughs> Okay. I'm not gonna kill her, bro. I'ma eat her alive, okay? Metaphorically speaking, not literally. But I guarantee you, bro, these bitches will never come on a live stream talking that shit. <laughs> guarantee you, bro, they will never come on a live stream talking that shit to me. Like, I mean, really, like, they think, Suge, you think, you think it's funny, like, I mean, the reason why I went off the live stream, like, that they were doing one, the first time was because this bitch, real life, she wasn't letting me motherfucking speak, bro. Like, she was just talking over me, not letting me get word in Ed side. I mean, I can't even talk. So it's like, what is the point of being on the panel if I can't, like, express myself? What's the point? I'm trying to look for... Yeah, okay, there it is. This bitch left the live stream? So early as well. No, this is actually... Okay. Now, had he come in here... And talk about, well, you know, y'all need to, whatever, he, they got mad, they put up the pictures, get over it. That's a different story. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nobody's hand-holding, but I think open conversation could happen. It's like, you, YouTube has this thing where people be like, yo, I'm a ride for this person. I don't give a fuck. Yo, this is where my loyalty lays. Yo, we know where everybody's loyalty lays. And to bring that up for question is kind of strange to me. 
because it's not an issue of loyalty. We're having yes, it first, is. We're having yes, a conversation is. all night. <laughs> Hell I is a fool, man. The same, but I think that the three years is that. scare the shit out of you you don't want to get in touch with why that is so you've decided to create some philosophy that you okay look miss me with that pseudoscience psychological bullshit mishmouth nonsense okay mushmouth nonsense because you don't know what you're talking about you've never been you you've never you've you, you have a sixth grade education okay <laughs> i'll be real life if you want to debate me come on my channel and I'll set up a hangout and we can debate. Open challenge to any of the panelists. Open challenge. Open debate. We can debate. Come on my channel. Sugar, you can come on my channel too. I'll debate you on a neutral platform. Okay? Because look, when you control all of the metrics on your channel and you can, uh, you can, you know, chop up the live stream and you can mute some people. I mean, you're not on a neutral platform, nigga. You just want to do what you want to do and you want to make yourself look be in a positive light for your bitch ass subscribers. Look, man, how long have you been on YouTube, bro? You've been on YouTube for a long time. Like all y'all niggas been on YouTube for 10 years and you haven't even gained a large following. OK, real life. Like you sit up on these like, I mean, fuck you, man, you stupid bitch, man. Fuck that bitch, bro. She's a fucking mush mouth whore. Feminist minded, entitled little whore, little bitch ass. Welfare taking, cum dump, cum dump sucking, semen, bitch ass, whore. But really, at the end of the day, man, like, if you want to debate, come on, come on my channel and I will debate the fuck out of you and I will literally eat you alive, okay? You've heard from like five assholes on YouTube that sounded fucking cool and you want to shove that down people's throats who are really trying to get out open discourse here to mend, mend, um, gaps with the sexes he's not making good points because of the approach if we if he i was making great points the points i was making just didn't sound good to you like they didn't make you feel good you know like you know how these women on youtube they just want to hear things that make them feel good but since i was not tapping into that and i was telling them the harsh reality which is the red pill you know the red all right let me let me explain the whole the whole concept of the red pill and the blue pill the blue pill is basically a pill that you you would take in order to I mean let me see I think I saw that on Wikipedia one time okay a blue pill is basically where the reality of life you're not living the reality of life you're living in a in a in an illusion and you feel like all things are balanced all things are fair and you're living in this world where you know, it's just like, it's a fairy tale land. Like, you believe that all... I mean, let me look it up. Let me look up the definition real quick for you guys. Uh, red pill and blue pill real quick. It's just a few seconds. It's, it's gonna be up now. Red pill and blue pill. Okay, here it is. So here it is, look. Red pill, a life of harsh knowledge. And a blue pill, a life of luxury, security, tranquil happiness, and the blissful ignorance of illusion. I was right, see? You're living a lie, bro. You think that everything's okay. You're just living a life of happiness. And you're ignorant. And you're living in this illusion to where you feel like everything's fine. But a red pill is when you know the harsh reality of life. The desperate freedom and the brutal truths of reality. So, you know the truth. You're not just living a lie. All right, so I'm red pill and they don't like it. Clearly they don't like it, okay? They don't like me being red pill, but that's okay. You want to come and debate me on a neutral platform? Come and debate me on a neutral platform and I'll give you this work. He would have come honestly. Guess what? We would have listened to him all night. <laughs> Hell is a fool, man. It's the same, but I think that the thing is that he's not you. Oh, uh, Hanlon, you crazy, oh, man. Check this out. Call the response. And then Mr. Black can get in right after the call the response. She was like, oh, if he came, honestly, we would have listened to him all night, man. Fuck you, you stupid bitch. Mush mouth ass whore. But anyway, open debate. I'm setting the gauntlet down. Come on my channel and debate me. Or just...
you know, sit up on these eight hour live streams and kick people off panels and gang up on people. But see, when it's a one on one discussion, I guarantee you I will cook that bitch alive. Okay, I will burn that bitch alive. I will burn her alive. But anyway, I'm out. Peace.